Hello and welcome back to Your Faith Adventure with King David. Today we get to see as Carlos and Rudiger deal with Butch the Bully once again. And will Carlos stand up for Rudiger? We'll see. We also have a great craft today and just a lot of fun. So remember, if you didn't get your craft bag from the church yet, please contact the church and we'll make sure you get one. And then, and oh, then, Mr. Hey, Mr. Oh, how are you? Good to see Good you. To see is this Rudiger? This is Rudiger. I've been so excited to meet Rudiger. Hi, Rudiger. My Hi. name is Miss Carol. Hi, Miss Carol. It's so good to meet you. I'm just Rudiger. Oh. Rudiger. Who is this? This is my best friend, Carlos. Carlos. Butch is on his way. It's, what? Wait, what? Butch is coming. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, okay. no, not Butch. Rudiger, it's okay. It's going to be all right. So Butch and Rudiger have a little bit of some mm, not very friendly attitudes with each other. Butch is a bully. Oh. Well, Butch and you need to find some ways that you can get along and some things that you have in common, but you haven't come together to talk yet. I don't want to talk to that guy. Well, you know that Carlos is your best friend. Yeah. Yes, and do you think Carlos would be friends with someone who's a bad guy? No. No. <laughs> no, of course not. But, you know, I was here last week when you guys made a very special pact of friendship, right? Yeah. Yes. And so I've, I've seen how you guys have been really good friends. And Miss Carol actually knows so much about the Bible. So we've been talking a lot about David, King David, and about King David and Jonathan and their friendship. And I know you know so much about the Bible. Can you tell us anything more about... David and Jonathan. Well, I know a little bit more about that because David and Jonathan were really good friends. And King Saul is Jonathan's dad. And King Saul was really, really, really mad at David. So mad at David, he wanted to do away with it. And wait a David second, wait a second. Miss Carol, Miss Carol? Yes? Is this story going to help me to beat up a bully? Well, no. probably not. I don't think that David and Jonathan decided to beat up the bully. You know, you could get hurt trying to beat up a bully. I'm not sure that's the best solution. Okay. Let me tell you what David and Jonathan did, though. They were worried, and David was worried, that King Saul was going to hurt him really bad. So he told Jonathan, I'm really scared your dad is going to really hurt me really bad. And Jonathan said, wait, 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 wait. My dad listens to me. There's not a thing that my dad doesn't do that he doesn't run past me first. So he asks my opinion. When he asks my opinion, I will tell him that you, David, are a good guy. You beat Goliath and you did all these wonderful things for our people. So I'll tell my dad that and I bet he won't want to hurt you anymore. So Carlos, you talked to Butch. Have you talked with him about uh, Rudiger and what a good friend Rudiger actually is? Yeah. You have? <laughs> well, let me tell you what David and Jonathan decided to do then. Jonathan said, we'll come up with a plan. I'll go talk to my dad. And if my dad is still happy with you, I, when I'm practicing my target practice with my bow and arrow, Wait, I, so a bow and arrow is what I should use? No, 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 no. Rudiger, we're not going to hurt target, target, target practice, target practice, just with a, and he says, if I shoot arrows up close, that means my dad's okay. He's not mad. You can come back. But if I shoot arrows really far away, then that means my dad is still mad at you and yeah, he's the king. He's not all bad, but he just has this thing where he's mad at you. And if he's mad at you, 
then you better run away before he hurts you. So David and Jonathan made this pact, and Jonathan did go talk to his dad, and he found out his dad was still really mad at David, and he still wanted to kill David. So, Rudiger, do you remember what this, this plan was? Yeah. If he shot arrows up close, what? You can stay. You can stay. And if he shot arrows far away? Time to run. Time yes. to run. <laughs> so, after a couple of days, oh, John. You're a good runner. You Thanks. are a good runner. <laughs> after a few days, David hid in the bushes. And Jonathan went out to do his target practice. And sure enough, he shot the arrows far away. And he told his assistant, his boy, OK, those arrows are very far away. So go far away to get those arrows. Because he wanted to make sure that David knew that he was supposed to run far. I'm kind of scared for David. Yeah. That's why he needed a good friend like Jonathan to help him know what was best for him. And Jonathan really was a good friend. Carlos, just like you're a really good friend. But there's someone who's even more than a good friend. Who is that? And I know somebody who stood up for his friends and did more than stand up. He died for them. What? Did, that is a good friend, man. That is the best. Do you know who that is? Is it Jesus? It is yes. Jesus. Yes. Very good. You're so smart. I know. <laughs> and such a good friend. And such a good child of God. Because Christ died not just for David and Jonathan. Nope. But he died for Rudiger. And he died for Carlos. And he also died for Butch. Yeah, man. <laughs> Are you sure? He Positive. died for Butch, too. Jesus sure. died for everyone. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Do you think that maybe... You could talk to Butch and tell him about Jesus? Maybe, if my friend's there. Carlos, would there. you be there? Yep. Yeah. Yep, you're a good friend. I know that you're gonna have a great conversation with Butch, and I cannot wait to hear how it turns out. We gotta go now, but we'll see you later, okay? Thanks for the story, nice to meet you, bye. Bye, bye. nice to meet you, bye. Welcome to craft time. Today we are going to be making an arrow and a quiver and a bow and arrow. And these are our arrows that we're making today. And we're going to be writing some of the words on here today that we would do for our friends. So friendship, helpfulness, love, whatever you can think of. So I'm going to have Kaya here write down some words on here while I show you how to make the quiver. So the first step to the quiver is going to be to find one of your sheets of paper. So things you're going to need for the quiver is a sheet of paper. You're going to need your little card that says, I will shoot arrows of. We're going to need our pipe cleaner. We're going to need our scissors. Or no, we don't need our scissors. And Kaya is writing with crayons on our words. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Then I'm going to take my paper and we're going to fold it in threes. So that there's three spots. And then we're going to take the bottom and fold it up just a little bit so our arrows don't fall out the bottom. I'm going to take this tape from you over here. We're going to close up the bottom of it. 
And then we also want to make sure we put some tape here on the side. Then we're going to take our pipe cleaner and we're going to fold it in half. Then we're going to twist it up just a little bit so that it looks like it's just one piece. We're going to fold it over to make a little handle and tape it right here onto the back. Then we're going to take our glue stick out of our craft materials and stick some glue on the back of our words. So while she finishes up some words, we're going to work on the bow. So we're going to take our stick that we got and our string and we're going to tie some knots into it right up at the top. If you're having troubles doing, tying the knots, you can have an adult help you. We're going to go ahead and tie two knots just so it stays nice and tight on each end. And then we're going to tie another two knots on this side. And that will give us our bow, which we'll go ahead and put into our quiver. Okay, so Kaya has some really good words over here. Do you want to share the words? Sure. Uh, supportive. Caring. Patient. Friendly. Helpful. And loving. Those are some good words. Wonder what words you guys thought of at home. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the points and the tails to our arrows. So we're going to take our other sheet of paper, it can be the same color or a different color, and we are going to cut out some triangles. We're actually going to do two triangles for each one, so it's on both sides, and then two of these little arrow pieces, and you can make them however you want them to look like. And then we'll take and cut a little tiny triangle out of the bottom. Then we'll take one of our sticks here and we're going to put some glue on the very bottom down here. And we're going to stick the end of it right on the bottom. And then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. A little bit of glue. Then our other piece. So it looks just like that. Then the other side we're going to do our triangles. And then just like we did for the end of the arrow, we're going to take these and we're going to glue them to the top. So we're going to take our glue, add it right to the top of our stick. We're going to flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. But we have our first arrow. Then we're just going to do the same thing for the other two. And as we finish our arrows, we're going to put them into our quiver. And then you also have your Bible verse for today, which we can have a parent read to you. And we're going to put this onto our keychain. So the Bible verse for this week is, Jonathan said to David, Go in peace, for we have sworn friendship with each other in the name of the Lord, saying the Lord is witness between you and me and between your descendants and my descendants forever. Then David left and Jonathan went back to the town. And that was 1 Samuel 20, 42. And we've got our other two arrows, and we're going to add those in as well. And that is going to be our craft for this week. Great job. Wasn't that so much fun as we got to see Rudiger and Carlos deal with problems in their lives? And we learned more importantly that Jesus is the Savior for everyone. People that we don't get along with and our best friends as well. So guys, once again, Thank you for joining us. Next week we get to see Rudiger and Rue have a little bit of conflict again. So I'll see you guys next week.